Peace, peace. You already know you're back with your homeboy, Vince Turner. Come on up in the house. Let's have this conversation. Yeah, I know <clears throat> we're doing the video a little different this time, but, you know, let's try some new things. You know what I mean? Life is abundant with nuances. So, let's try something new. <laughs> let's get it, baby. Tonight I'm feeling hey, feeling real hey. Glad you guys back. You know you rocking with your homeboy, Vince Turner. This video right here, I know you seen the thumbnail. So, we're going to get into it. Jailbreaking the Dodge Challenger and the Dodge Charger. Red Eye. Not just your regular Hellcat, Red Eye. Oh, pardon me. I don't even know where to get started at with this, all right? Now, speaking of jailbreaking, you know, you, you, you think of, I don't know, like cracking something or, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like a, a burnout phone or, 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 you know, just something, something like that. Like just cracking something or, or being able to have more control over something that you're doing. The whole jailbreaking aspect, right? It comes from old technology. They did this long, long, long time ago. If you don't believe me, do the, do the research on it, do the knowledge on it, all right? They did this a long time ago. So, they are bringing it back with something called Direct Connect. And this is what I'm saying about it being old technology. It's old technology, but they're revamping it to make it, you know, present day, modern. This means that, like, anything coming from Dodge, whether it be externals, whether it be things to make your car look good or horsepower-wise or performance-wise, you can say to Dodge, hey, look, <clears throat> I want you to make me something that doesn't normally roll out of your factory. Like, there are different colors and different plastics and bumpers and all, all types of stuff seats seat belts different colorways to for you to customize your car with most people one of the things that that they've seen like because you know i did i did my research and I, I took notes and all that one of the things that dodge has seen more than half of the people that buy their vehicles customize them so it made perfect sense for them to say you can do all of this from us so then when you do get it there's less to do some people will look at that like a plus as opposed to going to aftermarket um manufacturers to make the things that they want. Now you can get all of these things from Mopar directly. You know what I mean? Like I, I know it's a lot of aftermarket stuff that they will not provide that you know you have to go and and outsource anyway. You know, like like the stars in your roof or you know um, what's something else people do like the the lights in your well hubs and stuff like. That. Of course, they're not going to provide things like that. But original Mopar equipment, they will be providing those things. about it on the, the 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 big side of it how many people are going to have dodge products 
with aftermarket parts on them that did not come from Mopar. Think think about it in 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 the long term of it, okay? How much value does your car keep having original products on? You feel what I'm saying? Like, you think about the cars that got customized that do not have original engineered mechanics. Or, <laughs> I forgot, I, I lost my train of thought right there, but OEM parts. Um original parts for the for the vehicle and i'm I, i'm still missing mi missing the uh the name for the acronym if, if you if you know exactly what i'm trying to get out right now leave it in the comments it's all good um but that keeps the value of your car up we all know driving it off the lot you lose value but when you're putting parts on the car that come directly from the people that make it, in my eyes, you're keeping the value of the car up because you're not putting other people's parts on the car. That's the great thing. So one of the, one of the other things too about the jailbreak or the, the jailbroken <laughs> Challenger or Charger is that you get a, a badge on the inside of the car as jailbreak on you know what I mean so I, I think that's really cool also because you know people will get into your car and it's like oh it's a Hellcat or oh, it's a Red Eye or you know what I mean but to see a, that jailbroken badge and then it's a, uh, a a digital display type that goes with the direct connect that you can get for your car some people have said that it's like um uh, like an like an aftermarket uh, display, kind of like what Holly does with their display or whatnot. But then I've had other people to tell me that it's completely different from what Holly does. It's kind of like a piggyback to what you already have going on. Needless to say, I don't know which one is the real because I have yet to see a jailbroke car. I've yet to see the Direct Connect system. I've yet to see anybody that I know with it. So all I'm going off of is speculation. Clearly speculation. But think about this. How many people will have a jailbroke Mopar product? Will you be one of those people? That is the question. Because you know, some people say, "Hey, it's it's just a it's just a red eye," but the red eye has 747. They are saying that all of all of the jailbroke ones will have 807 to the wheels, not at the crank, to the wheels. Don't don't be mad at me. You know what I mean? Because I'm just stating what the facts are from Mopar, from Dodge. Chrysler FCA. I'm just stating what they said. So, don't be mad at me. If it doesn't make that to the crank, it doesn't make it to the crank. I don't know. I didn't build a car. <laughs> but I look forward to seeing it. I look forward to riding in it. I look forward to driving it. As you all very much know, we have started back recording for um Car, the car reviews, I don't know. My, my brain is somewhere else today, man. Like, I got so much stuff going on, so my brain is all over the place. We have started back recording car reviews, so in the near future, Season 2 will be coming out. Right now, we're just doing recording on it, though. I would like to take the time out to remind you to stop by voiceandbridges.com for all your get fly needs. Stop by and stay fly. That is the end of my video. Make sure that you pull up and check me out on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe also. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm a little flustered today because I just got so much going on with the shop, with Boston Bridges, with doing videos and just 
catching up and, and keeping my brand current. You know what I mean? But until next time, just remember, somebody loves you. Remember to look out for the people that love you. And also remember to love self. Alright? Until next time, this has been your man Wrench Turner on the check-in for Shop Talk. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Make sure you keep your head up. Keep your chin up. Peace. Peace. Peace.